I think that what Trump is doing is appealing to the baser instincts among us, xenophobia and frankly racism, uh, describing an entire group of people, in this case Mexicans, as, as rapists or as criminals. He says there's some good ones. He says there's some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's the same old, that same old that's gone on in this country for a very long time. You target some, some group of people and you go after them, and you take people's anger, and you turn it against them, and you win votes on that. I think that is disgraceful, and not something we should be doing in 2015. <laughs> what I am talking about is a vision which goes beyond telling us that we have to hate a group of people. Uh, what I am talking about is saying that in the wealthiest country in the history of the world, there are extraordinary things that we can do when people come together, black and white and gay and straight, and demand the government start working for all of us, not just the few. Now, certainly Hillary Clinton would agree with everything that you just said. What do you say to those people there who say, I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton because Bernie Sanders can't win in the general, and I want us to keep the White House so we can appoint you know, Supreme Court justices, that, that you're really a Ralph Nader figure right. more than you are a presidential candidate? Well, let me respond in two ways. Number, number one, if you look at the polls of me running against Republicans, uh, despite the fact that still in this country, 20, 30, 40 percent of the people don't know who I am or what I am fighting for, we do almost as well, and in some cases better than Hillary Clinton does today, and that will only get better in the future. Second of all, second of all, second of all, Republicans win when the voter turnout is low. I think the kinds of crowds and the excitement that we are generating with young people, with working people, will result in very large voter turnouts to get the White House, and not only get the White House, recapture the Senate and do well in the House but how, how much do you want it? Because you don't have every tool in your toolbox to win this thing. You, you don't have a super PAC. That's where the big cash is That's these days. Okay, after Citizens United, unlimited donations from corporations or unions or individuals can give to a super PAC in support of a candidate and they don't coordinate. How come you won't have a super PAC? If you want to win it, sir, you got to be in it. Every tool in the chest, don't bring a spoon to a knife fight. Right. Right, Stephen, I don't have a super PAC. I'm one of the few presidential candidates who does not. Because frankly, I don't support the agenda of corporate America or the billionaire class. I don't want their money.